is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Okay, we're going to take a look at these markets. They're getting hit pretty hard. Uh, you know, they go up and down. But we basically felt that we're probably going to get some type of a correction in here, whether it's a high or low. Well, certainly not a high coming in here, but uh, we've broken down against uh, some support. The market's still down, doing very little right now. We just made a 382 retracement in the... S&P 500, and if it gets much above 503, we could have a pretty good rally maybe towards the end of the day. We'll have to wait and see. The one that I posted today, folks, is the Treasury bond. We've been bullish on that for the past six days. And as you can see, we completed a beautiful ABCD pattern up today at the uh, 123 level. The high was 123.04. We're now trading about oh, uh, 10 ticks below that. So that is an ABCD at a 382 in a bear market. So uh, if that's going to be the case, uh, interest rates should start to go higher again. Remember, this is just an hourly chart so that it does take time to form. And the patterns that line up work on an hourly chart, 15-minute chart, you know, 10-minute chart. doesn't make any difference. Okay, our guest today will be Grace Morris of Astro Economics. Tomorrow we have Shane Smullyan. The wolftrader.com. Hold on one second here. I hear the beepers going off and I can't find out where it is. So bear with me here. I have to see. Uh, oh, it's in the uh, in the soybean market. It's had a pretty good rally today. Not unexpected, but we'll see what's going on here with that a little bit later. I turned off the thing, so it's okay. Uh, folks, um, I've had uh, over the past two days, I've had a breakdown in my email service from Google. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong, but they said I did something wrong, and I had to get someone, a professional, to come in and do the work, and finally, I'm able to send out the charts and the emails and stuff, and I'll be able to receive. I haven't received hardly any emails over the last couple of days, and that was mainly because the system was uh, shut down. And, of course, as most of you know me, when you see this technical stuff, that's when I pulled a few strands of hair that I have left because it just drives me up the wall. And uh, had to pay a premium price to get it done, but supposedly it's going to be done correctly. Now, I posted that chart of that Treasury bond because I think it's a very important chart, mainly because it's the first major ABCD that we've had in the past 10 days. I know it seems hard to believe, but that's exactly what's happened. So that's pretty much it. So I hope you pay attention to that one. It may or may not mean anything. It's still up a full handle on the day, so that tells you that it's very, very bullish. Okay, now I wanted to bring to your attention something, you know, we talk about uh, strong trending markets and the stuff like that here on the air at TFNN. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to post a very short term, just a three minute chart of the Dow Jones. Uh, ah, let's try it again, Larry. It is the E-mini S&P. I just wanted to show you that these are tradable patterns, folks. You can see the first one is right here. There's your 382 retracement right there with an APCD. There's your second one right there, A, B, C, D. And, of course, these went down into new low ground. And remember, when you're trading this, you don't go start looking at a weekly or daily chart. You trade it off a two-minute chart. So when it goes down and makes an A, B, C, D, like we did down there at the 480, then that's what you have to do. So that's what we're trying to you know, get across to you as we're looking at this uh, through the day. But uh, we've been very bearish on stocks and very bullish on bonds. Uh, slightly bearish on gold. It's been pretty good. We, we covered our short gold yesterday, uh, a little too early as, as usual. And then uh, we're also looking for a point uh, to go long the wheat. It's up today, but uh, didn't get to our buy point, no, did it, nor did it come down far enough in the corn to get the buy point. So those are, those are the things that we're really watching uh, today. We also have a potential here for a pretty good bottom here. In the euro, I haven't tracked. Let me. <laughs> wow. Let me try words, okay, folks. Just give me a second here, so I can pull up the euro chart. I spent so much time with this. Uh, uh, 
where is the euro? Yeah, it held up okay, but it hasn't really moved very much, but that's what we're paying attention to here uh, so far this morning. Okay, now let, let's move over one, one handle and let's talk just a little bit uh, about the psychology of getting ready to trade. I'm in the process of doing a, uh, a video for Dr. David Paul for a service that Tom's going to have for all of his customers and I'm going to be doing a little video telling my experience with David. He was a stand-up guy, folks, 68 years old, healthy as a horse, very frail, very, very, not, he looked like he was fragile, but he was built like steel. And uh, he could do one of him push-ups and stuff like that. And I mean, it's just, he was really incredibly fit. Went to the doctor on June 1st, and the doctor said, get your house in order. He won't be here in, in Thanksgiving. And six weeks later, he passed away on the 19th of July, which happens to be uh, my sister's birthday. So I'll remember that forever but i love david he was a great guy gosh he he was a big big fan of mark douglas i got to get them i got them together when he came to uh us uh, once and they had a really great day together and they became friends after that but you know his whole focus on that was about risk control and he said you know you gotta you gotta think very low risk but you gotta bet big and win big and that's what he tried to do and he certainly told tom hugard how to do that uh, when I first met Tom back in uh, 2004, he was a good trader. He had been working at City Index in uh, London. I mean, he was our point man on CNBC every day. He'd have a 15-minute segment. And then after, oh, I think it was about six years, um, Michael Spencer decided to sell the company. And he gave Thomas a 18-month severance package. He didn't have to give him a, a, a month. He gave him 18 months. And with that 18 months, Tom became a professional trader. And we together caught that big move down in 2008, 2009. Uh, and we were on Zoom all the time, chatting back and forth through the night. And these were trades that were happening in the middle of the night, folks. And the only way I could stay awake was to play video poker. I'd buy in for a $10 tournament. And then if I fell asleep, my time limit would come up. You had 15 seconds to react, and the beeper went off, so I would wake up to see what I had. And I actually won a little bit during that time, but we had a good run. And from that, he became the monster that he is. And, folks, I mean monster. He's, uh, I've only met one other person that could do what he does, and that's Robert St. John. He was the bond trader that worked with uh, with uh, Tom, uh, Tom Baldwin and also uh, Charlie D., and with with along with uh, you know I met them all through Mark Douglas, so that's uh, that's how it all came into back. But when what Tom his strategy is, when he sees that boy look how much money I've made, he presses it, he presses more, and uh, it, this is what David taught him to do, and uh, it really pays him huge dividends. He just is uh, he knows how to do this, and I think that's why he he does so well. So it's going to be really interesting to see. Uh, how the how it outcomes. Uh, he's actually taking a little vacation this month, uh, coming back in another uh, week, I believe. And uh, so we'll be chatting some more. We're planning on doing a seminar in Las Vegas, but not quite there yet because we lost our key, one of our key players, David Paul. Hey, we'll take a break here. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN Education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to get on along. We've got a nice rally going here. We've actually come off the bottom in the S&P, about 20 handles, which is uh, which is pretty good. We're going to see how that acts. We've got crude oil almost unchanged. on. Well, it's actually up on the day now after being down as much as $3, and, of course, it's held up that level relatively well, so we're going to be paying close attention to that. When we got on the show, sorry for my voice, folks, but uh, I have a little bit of hoarseness that I can't get over. It has nothing to do with the weather or anything like that. I think it has to do with an allergy, but uh, even then we haven't had any rain for so long that I don't see how that could be bothering me either. Uh, the thing that I was trying to do when uh, we were off the air here for just a second was uh, to chat with Jake Garys Morris because she's gonna be our guest coming up here at 1.30, so that'll be, uh, that'll be really good. Okay, now let's get on with the other things that we wanna be paying attention to here today. Folks, uh, what's happened in the market as far as the high that we made the other day and then we had the big breakdown and the big run-up yesterday folks was the largest up day since june and look what happened gave it all back in one day everybody that bought it on that day is now setting with a loss most probably so all i'm trying to tell you is that just be really careful in these markets because they are very volatile also i want to mention that uh, eli Lilly stock is up quite a bit. Those of you that belong to the 24-7 were able to get my message yesterday to buy it before the close because one of my friends had given me some inside information that the earnings were going to be really good, plus they had a new drug. And if you believe any of that, folks, if you believe anything that I just said there, <laughs> buy two shares of the Brooklyn Ridge. I never get a hit. I never get anything like that. Can you imagine? This is a $500 stock that's up 20% because they've got something that not only helps you lose weight, but it uh, keeps your blood pressure low and it reduces heart attacks. Now, boy, if that's not a, uh, a lead pipe cinch for something really good, it'd be almost like a discovering uh, a Super Viagra. If uh, I never, never did figure out if those things worked or not. And thank goodness I didn't. Anyway, let's move on and talk just a little bit more about Eli Lilly. I have to bring this story to you because this was a big instrumental of why I'm a trader today, folks. I had a really good job with Lilly. I'd been with them for five years. 
and I had worked my way up the ladder, and I had done some things that got some things done that people couldn't get done, basically because I worked hard and got lucky. And I was in a meeting, and I was at a low-level meeting. There were directors in there, so there were 10 of us in the room, and I was there to help my boss who was giving – you know, information. We were going to be coming out with a product. We were working with the medical department and the marketing department. I was with the marketing department, and they were arguing back and forth on what they could put in the ad. And um, it came around to me. They were supposed to give, and I, I just basically shut up because I didn't want to get into trouble. And they came around to me and they asked me a question: What would you do? And I said, I don't know what I would do. I said, but I'll tell you this: I said, if Colonel Eli Lilly started this company in 1865 at the start of the Civil War, if he were in this room, he'd fire all of us. He said, because this is not what he was all about. He said, you can't hide these bad things about the drug. He said, it's got some problems. Sure, we can tell them what they are, but we got it. they have to know what those problems are. That was my last day at Lilly, folks. The next day, I was on my way back to California. They said, pick a place where you'd like to go. I said, I'll go to Los Angeles. And so I went to Los Angeles. I spent my last four years there. But uh, that was my last day. I shouldn't have said anything, probably, but that's how I felt. And believe me, folks, a lot of people heard about that, and I was always glad that I did it because I really don't uh, – uh, I really didn't like it. I tell you something else that was happening at that time. It's it's really relevant in the in now, but uh, the pharmaceutical company, the association. I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. Maybe O'Brien will fire me. I doubt it. Anyway, they were trying to get the the pharmaceutical companies to go direct advertisement to TV to the patients. Tell the patients, yeah, this is what you need. Go tell your doctor. And everybody was against that. I mean, well, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody was for it with the exception of Lily. Lily said, no, no, we're, we're not going to do that. This is, they were going to let them go through the doctors. Then the patient will do it. The patient doesn't go to the doctor and tell them they want this medicine. Well, you can see what's in the medicine now. The medicine chest that you watch on TV every day, it's either uh, Viagra, not Viagra, whatever these drugs are. I can't even remember. They're such long ones. But they have movie stars in there and all that stuff. But that's how they did their advertising. And that was started back in 1971. And now, now day here it is, 40 some years later, and it's 50 some years later, and it's uh, a proven fact that it makes a lot of business, a lot of money for these folks. So I hope that uh, gives you some idea of what we're looking at when we're watching some of these things here this morning. Hold on one second, folks. I have to, uh, my limit minder just went off, and I have to check to see where the. Uh, I'm going to sell crude oil in about 15 minutes, boys. So get your red, 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 red Robin hat on because I'm going to I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, it'll be my third shot for the day. Uh, one break even, one small loss. So I will give it a shot here, uh, somewhere above 82.50 if we get to that level here in the things. But the positions that we've had on today have been doing pretty good. Uh, we were short stocks, of course, and we've been short bonds from right near the high. And uh, we were, uh, we actually bought the euro. It's holding up okay. Hasn't really moved very much, and uh, that's pretty much it. And we're waiting to uh, be a seller in uh, soybeans, but they're they're not quite there yet. They need to get up about another uh, four or five cents, and then I'll be taking a look at those uh, from the downside. So I hope that gives you some idea of what I'm doing here, uh, because these markets are so active, folks. I mean, my goodness. You just can't imagine how uh, the swings that we're seeing. I mean, this has been going on for a long time. And it's night, middle of the night, you'll see monster swings because you've got these folks from Asia and the UK that are out there with big guns. And uh, I will tell you this, folks. I've been in this business for 62 years, started in 59. That would be, let's see, 50. That's almost, uh, let's see, 59. Wow, that's a lot. This would be my seventh decade? Are you kidding me? Anyway, I, I had never thought that I would see the fairness that you see with this electronic trading that you have, folks. I watched a good friend of mine do some trading on Zoom the other day. He, he wanted to prove to me a fact. And he said, I can trade the S&P for a two-point stop. And I said, you are full of you-know-what. And it wasn't baloney. So I worked with him for about three hours one night just, just scalping. You know, looking for five points here, five points here, five points there. And he could put something in and put a two-point stop. They got him once or twice, but most of the time. And his stops were filled. And he was doing a 40 lot. He was selling 40. Now, it was like four of the old big contracts, but the new ones are 40. So he would do four of those, or 40, 40 of those, and we get filled right on the spot. I mean, I couldn't believe it. 
you know, I don't trade a 40 lot, you know, I wouldn't trade anything that small, I trade 160s, no, no, not really, I trade a pretty good, I, you know, I do all right, I make a nice living at this, and that's really all I do, I don't expect to do any more, I don't expect to do any less, and that's what I try to do, one thing at a time, and that's really the bottom line of what I'm doing here, what I'm doing this stuff here for TFNN, and then all for, also for myself, now we got a break here, coming up pretty soon, with uh, Grace Morris coming up, and she's always a fun. If you get her, ever get a chance, she's a really a classy lady. And uh, we did some seminars during the 80s, and God, we had a lot of fun. And Bill Meridian and Arch Crawford, and uh, oh my God, it was just a, uh, it was unbelievable. Dr. Al Larson, uh, Norm Winsky, the whole gang was there. We're going to take a break, and we're going to be back with uh, Grace Morris of Astro Economics. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and with a lot of pleasure and a great deal of anticipation, we have Grace Morris in the house. Grace, how are you doing today? Well, I thought Grace was in the house. I guess I'm wrong. Um, we'll keep trying to get her, okay? Might be some technical difficulties. I'm the master of technical difficulties, folks. Uh, I've had two days of absolute pulling the last hair of my head out, and uh, 
hopefully that'll be all fixed by today but it's been really difficult to uh, try to get some of this stuff moving moving on here but evidently grace is having a hard time getting in but we'll see if we can uh, folks uh, i was talking about the crude oil just a minute ago i just wanted to show you uh there's the number you just hit the number that i wanted to see and that is at uh, 40 82 40 and i'm only going to risk a very small amount on that so we're going to find out if that's going to be a either a good one or a bad one but uh doesn't make any difference because sometimes it'll be good sometimes it'll be bad that's all you can do one at a time okay let's move on here and um, since we have a little bit of technical difficulty here uh, what we're going to do now is to uh, you know what I think I am going to do here I think um, a little bit concerned here that uh, we didn't go down as far as we did in stocks today so we're going to find out if that's going to be any good or not so we'll do one thing at a time as we go through looking at these. Hold on a sec, folks. I'm, th I'm doing two things. I'm trying to walk and chew gum at the same time, but that's actually I'm trading at the same time. What I want to do is to show you what I'm looking at so that you realize that I'm not just throwing dice at this, okay? Now, this is what I've been watching here. This is my the AI program. Ah, Grace is in the house now, I think. Is that correct? I am. <laughs> hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you back. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Hope you are, too. I certainly am. Grace, the question uh, someone uh, emailed because they knew you were coming on today. Uh, they would like to know your opinion of the overall market. Have we reached a major top or is this just, just a corrective, a small correction? We are still uh, gung-ho. This is a great uh, quarter, and uh, all the indicators are uh, very good. I think we have to remember that... Um, uh, our inflation is coming down. China is now suffering uh, deflation, and uh, uh, other countries are dealing with much higher. There's so many uh, economic indicators that uh, we are so far ahead uh, economically in the U.S. Even the mm -hmm. trade deficits and so forth are really things are going in our direction. So uh, these temporary lips as i like to call them and not to worry look at the major uh cycles and uh, it looks good okay that was a question that they had and the second question we had from one of our listeners is when you get ready to uh, to buy a stock do, do, they wanted to know how you use the birth chart and explain to the folks what a birth chart is and how you use it because <laughs> i've seen you do this before but it's been a long time so <laughs> okay my pleasure First of all, I work with companies, and uh, you have to uh, ascertain what the question is. If it's about the incorporation, I use the uh, incorporation data from Delaware or wherever and set up a chart for the time they, they, uh, they became legal and are a functioning company. But um, in buying a stock in the kind of work I do in my uh, stock market newsletter, is use the first trade date and time. An accurate time is really important. And uh, okay. the day, and you can watch the uh, the ITOs become uh, official on their first trade date. And that's what uh, that chart that I set up for that time is what I use. And it's amazing. As I mentioned uh, last time we talked that um, there's a secret formula, which I would be very glad to share with you. If you have a chart, and this was true of um, Priceline, as it is with um, all of those stocks that go over $1,000 a share, they have the magic formula of a combination of Sun, Jupiter, and Pluto. So if, uh, if I'm looking at a bunch of charts on that day, and then I use technical and fundamental analysis to choose them. But if they've got that um, uh, sort of edge, just like um, Priceline, which is now um, uh, bookings, holdings, mm -hmm. and it um, I had a perfect combination. And when I put it in at, I think it was 150 something, it has gone over $3,000 last week. Oh, so my gosh. <laughs> this, this works. And this really yeah. applies to the Magnificent Seven, which is now mm -hmm. replaced the FANG stacks. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. I know. It's just yeah. amazing what's happened recently. <laughs> I look at these prices and where we were, you know, back in 86, 87, 88, 89, we were right. doing these seminars. The S&P was, you know, it was trading at like, what, uh, 215, 220, something like that. Mm -hmm. And it was very, very, Eight. now it's uh, it's a lot higher than that. <laughs> it sure is. Do you have a, do you, it's still an exciting place to be. <laughs> okay, we have a question. One other question, and then you can uh, continue. But they have the person would like to know what would be your best stock pick for the next two weeks. Do you have something in your uh, little I, quiver? I where you, long, well, I'll tell you. I can I, uh, uh, tell you what I put in uh, last week and also the week before, or the um, month. Uh, the newsletter goes by monthly issues, but. Um, uh, why I went in one direction while you were talking. I am um, I, since they are not in for a week or two, like trading. Uh, I look at the whole cycle, and this cycle we're in began in May um, a couple of months ago, and it's going to run another year. So I'm looking at those that are going to grow in that period of time, the sectors that are favored. And then um, what's the, the best stocks in that sector? So um, let me give you an example. Uh, the uh, building stocks, the um, uh, residential stocks are uh, doing really well. Uh, Pulte today was up and also um, uh, MHO uh, was up. 16%. I'm glancing at my uh, third page of my newsletter. And uh, so I'm, I'm looking at the, the future. In other words, they're going to continue to grow in this period. We shifted in May from uh, Jupiter and Aries, all the military and uh, basic materials and so forth, into this new cycle, which was like foods and uh, uh including restaurants and, and banking and financials. And I realized today they backed off, but that's a buying opportunity. Any pullback mm -hmm. can be a buying opportunity. In fact, oh, I, when I put the stocks in, I usually uh, say initiating coverage on a pullback, meaning I give them a, uh, a day or two because you're buying for the entire uh, cycle. And when there's a shift, in uh, the set, oh. it's a great buying opportunity. Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, it Grace, we got like a break. <laughs> yeah, we got to pay. We got to pay a few bills. Be, oh, stay with us. We'll be back in two minutes. <laughs> See you later. We'll be right back, folks. Grace Morris. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hey, we're back, folks, speaking with Grace Morris of uh, Astro Economics. Uh, okay, Grace, so tell us what else you have for us today that would be interesting. Well, I, I, as a follow-up, another um, area of technology, as I said in my uh, book uh, written last year for this year, it, uh, technology would be sort of absent, and the things did fade back the first uh, half of the year. With, with saying by May they would all be back for the rest of the year, and they've come back with the vengeance. And the fangs are now the uh, Magnificent Seven, and those are all um, stocks that will continue to do well. Do you want to know what the Magnificent Seven is? They, they are very, why don't you repeat it? But everybody here knows what they are. They certainly do. I, they follow yes. them every day. <laughs> Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon. Uh, Meta, Meta and Tesla and um, Meta platforms. Now, anyway, do you have any? Yeah. So they will continue to outperform, and uh, they their absence is um, duly noted, but they're back in trading range. The, okay. um, as I said, the economic uh, uh, growth is very good. And uh, all that talk of recession and hard landings is pretty much um, going down the drain and even <laughs> a, a soft landings. I think we're going to see good reports with the CPI and the PPI this week. So um, uh, I think that's uh, important to be optimistic and uh, put stops on. Uh, that's what I uh, try to tell uh, readers of the uh, newsletter of my books and uh, the uh, webinars that I do. By the way, my website is www.astroeconomics.com, and that's all the promotion I'll do. <laughs> well, no, that's good. You have you do you do, you do webinars too, huh? Yes, and I'm, my next oh. one is um, on Sunday, October 29th. That's when my book for. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, 2024 will be ready and available in to, for next year's picks. But the um, okay. uh, yeah, this webinar is a four hour and it's a uh, uh, explanation of everything that Astra Economics means, how to pick mm -hmm. stock fundamentally, fundamentally, technically, and okay. with planetary cycles. And, and what, what do you charge for that, uh, Grace? Well, I was, the webinar is three fifty, and uh, okay. I think that's uh, a great uh, learning experience for uh, yeah. U.S. I should. Add. Would it be Would it and, be for the, the beginner as well as uh, experienced uh, astrologer? Absolutely, I, I, to the most advanced because there's uh, uh, fund managers, uh, head fund managers. When I'm not kidding with them, but uh, definitely people who are wanting to learn it. 
it's helpful to understand this process. They may be very mm -hmm. good at whatever techniques they use, but uh, this is a way of looking at how to combine uh, all uh, the fundamental technical and planetary mm -hmm. psychoanalysis. Wow. Grace, I was visiting uh, uh, Alfie Lavoie and Carol oh, about 10 oh. years ago. Sarah and I went back to Connecticut to visit them, and uh, we spent uh, two days with them, and we were in his office, and he got a phone call from the president of PepsiCo, Pepsi. Pepsi. Wow. And yeah. uh, they, they, were, they were putting in stores at certain places. I think it was Taco Bell is what it was. And uh, uh -huh. anyway, this guy spent a half an hour asking uh you know you know alfie questions about why he you know alfie told him where to put the places and he said i've been doing it this with them for 10 years he had worked for them he still works for them by the way and he, he yeah. goes by mm -hmm. astrological charts of where they should place their stores and it does a pretty good job at it so it's going to be really interesting to see if it yeah. uh, ends up that the location, way location uh, uh, a chart yeah. i uh, started to work with um the franchisees of McDonald's, because my um, office for 25 years was in Oak Brook, which looked over the uh, McDonald's mm -hmm. uh, university yep. camp. Uh, uh, yeah. And yep. so right. all of those um, franchisees that came to the office, um, I was setting up uh, each new franchisee needs a, um, a an incorporation date. So that's what I did for many years. And uh, as traders came from the Chicago Board of Trade, came out, to, uh, yeah, I could see Sears Tower from my, uh, the uh, mm -hmm. uh, tower floor. So mm -hmm. it was uh, an uh, exciting time in Chicago. I am now in Florida and Boca Raton. Yeah, office, it, was, but it was fun in Chicago back in those days. <laughs> it was very, you remember. Now, now, it's, now it's a lot different. <laughs> Listen, we're going to have you on again soon, but tell the folks how they can reach you if they'd like to see a sample of your letter or maybe even go so, to the webinar. Absolutely. Uh, uh, go to astroeconomics.com. And just ask for a um, uh, free copy, and I will be glad to send it to you. Okay, and we'll have you on again soon. So take care of yourself down there in Florida, living the easy life, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Larry, and good luck you bet. To you always. You're the best. Thank you. Uh, thank <laughs> you. So are you. Grace Morris, folks, Astro Economics. And hold on here just one second here, and I want to get back. We've got a, uh, we've got a trade going on in here. I thought we ought to share it here a little bit here. Give me one second, and, uh, well, I don't know if I can do this or not. Okay, I'm going to try it here because this is what we were looking at just a little while ago. And hold on, we'll get this up here. This was the crude oil we were looking at, if you remember. I uh, don't know what happened here. I've got a busy signal on the line. I can't post charts. Jacob, you're going to have to help me with these charts because these darn things just won't post, and I'm getting a little frustrated with the darn thing, so... Let's try it one more time and see if we can get it up there, get it moving. But uh, hold on just a second. I try to keep it interesting here so it's live and not Memorex. Remember if you said I was looking at 82.50 and uh, I wanted you to see why I was looking at 82.50. And there's where the time came in. It hit 82.53 and I just saw it trading at 82.40. Now, what I did was I raised 15 points on that. I sold it at 51, and I put a stop at 66, 82.66. So I'm only risking $150. I might even be stopped out of it by now, but that's all I'm going to risk. Because once it starts to work, it usually has a pretty good chance of going on and doing something uh, pretty good. But uh, other times, they just don't do very well. So bear with me here one second. I'm doing a lot of things today, and I'm trying to keep my uh, head above water uh, a, little bit, a little better than that on what I'm watching for these markets today because we are in a very critical level where we could easily go one direction or another. You know, I've got, uh, you know, I've been, sh I've been short stocks, still short stocks, short bonds, and uh, we uh, had a nice run in the bonds, folks. That was such a, an easy setup down there with those numbers. I This is the big mistake that I made because I really blew the whistle on this one. And the, the, real, the real key was uh, this one right here. I believe this is the one that, oh, these charts are just driving me nuts. Ah, hold on one second. That's not the one I wanted to show you. I've showed it before, but it's important because when you make errors, you've got to be able to recognize what you did wrong here. So let me get this one up here to take a look at these bonds 
and then we'll be able to get it. See, when I click on the thing to show the bonds, it, it, it goes, it just goes blank. All right, we're going to take a break here. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I would like you to know that I was stopped out on the high tick of the crude oil at 62.66. I sold it at 51. I lost my 150 bucks. It's trading at 82.63 now, but that's all I wanted to risk. So I'm just standing aside now to see if that's going to be the case. Okay, now we've come off the bottom on the S&P 20 handles. Uh, of course, we went all the way down to 44.82 during the day here. I'm going to try to show you this uh, if I can get this done at the right time because we made a near perfect ABCD on the bottom today, folks. It was a, just about a beautiful a three drive to a bottom that you would want to see and I did some uh, covering of some shorts in that area but uh, just wanted to show now this is a short term pattern so let me get this so you'll be able to oh, I got to do it the, the hard way so hold on here one second and we'll get this up here to take a quick look at it move on here get this out of the way and uh, try one more thing 
Oh, Larry, 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 Larry. This is really difficult, folks, trying to get these things done here. Uh, well, why is it say I'm on the air? I thought we were uh, at a break. Al, are we at a break? What's going on? Hello? Wow, I don't understand. Uh, well, boy, I, 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 I'll tell you technical difficulties is my middle name. Here is a pattern that I was looking at today. Oh, these charts. Uh, about ready to take it and send them to the woodshed. Okay, here is that. This is just a very small 15-minute chart, but you can see the nice little three-drive to a bottom pattern that we made here, and that was uh, pretty much it. So that's what we're looking at. So hopefully we'll be able to... Uh, I have to turn this off. I hate to do this, but I'll get back to them in just a little bit. Okay, um, one minute to the break, I guess. So hold on. And yeah, there's a break coming up. So, are we done now, Al? Is it over? Trading in the 